shout out to D Griffin for sending me this article. I feel like I call this one right on the nose, like right on it. If y'all remember the very first video I did about Brianna Taylor and her boyfriend, uh, Kendrick Wilson, I had said at the end of the video, I said, I feel like this is personal. I feel like Kendrick Wilson was targeted. And it's been stuff that has started to slowly come out that kind of alluded to my hunch. Well, according to this article that I'm going to read to you, that was posted on May 18th, 2020, which was well over a week after I did my video about Breonna Taylor and Kendrick Wilson. It looks like my hunch was spot on because now they're saying that Brett Hankinson, who was this guy right here, was a dirty cop that had a vendetta. And when I saw that in the title, I said, yep, it, it looks like it lines right up with what I said. It's like you can always kind of sense these sorts of things, like especially when you do these commentaries as long as I have. The patterns are always there. The signs are always stick, always stick out. They never really go and sway from the script. But the article reads, an ongoing federal lawsuit accuses one of the narcotic detectives in the shooting death of 26 year old EMT Breonna Taylor of harassing suspects with unnecessary arrest and planting drugs on them. Kendrick Wilson filed suit against officer brett hankinson in october 2019 saying his fatal misdeed was attracting the unwanted and undeserved attention of hankinson who had decided that wilson for one reason reason or another had to be engaging in illegal activity and that he had to ensure his conviction hankinson denied all allegations against him in a response filed a month later accusations contained in a civil lawsuit represent only one side of the story and do not constitute evidence in a court of law. Hankinson, Sergeant Jonathan Mattingly, and Officer Miles Cosgrove are on administrative reassignment while an internal investigation is underway into the March 13th shooting of Taylor. All three are being sued by Taylor's family. Taylor's death has ignited a firestorm across the nation in week recent weeks as prominent activists and politicians questions why an unarmed black woman had been gunned down by white officers. Governor Andy Bashir has called for a federal investigation into the case. Taylor was shot eight times by the officers who entered her apartment just before 1 a.m. Police have said the officers were serving a search warrant as part of a narcotics investigation, but no drugs were found at the home. And by the way, they had, like I said before, they already had the person in custody who they were looking for. They had to have known that. They had to have known that. And they probably did. But like I said, I truly believe this was a target. This was a hit. Taylor's boyfriend, uh, Kenneth Walker, said he thought intruders were breaking in and fired one shot that struck Mattingly in the leg. The officers then returned fire, expending more than 20 rounds. Years earlier, Hankinson was accused of harassing Wilson, who said the officer was officer targeted him in planting drugs. Now, I don't know if this is a misprint or not, because in one statement, they're saying the boyfriend's name is Kenneth Walker and another one are calling him Kendrick Wilson. So, and it's the same person. So I don't know if that's a misprint or not, but I think it has to be because it's two different names, but it's the same person. Years earlier, Kankinson was accused of harassing Wilson, who said the officer targeted him and planted drugs. That's nothing new. That's something that all these departments are known to do some more than others. Wilson's suit outlines three times in which Hankinson arrested Wilson in 2016 and 2018, all of which originated at bars where Hankinson sometimes worked as an off-duty security. It also says that Wilson and Hankinson had had various interactions outside of the arrest, including over a relationship with the same woman. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there you go. That is where, to me, where it stemmed from right there something tells me that the woman probably was more interested in him and he couldn't take it or the fact that he couldn't handle that the woman that he was interested in that was probably into him was also into another guy but the fact of the matter is kenneth walker or kendrick wilson how i don't know how they're naming him um the fact that he was a black guy 
The first arrest was in 2016 at the Tin Roof Bar when Kankison arrested Wilson on suspicion of assault. The charges were dismissed in November. In 2018, in June, outside the Tin Roof Bar, Hankinson arrested Wilson again. The arrest citation Hankinson wrote states that a police dog indicated the presence of a narcotic odor in Wilson's pocket. Notice the patterns here. They keep trying, he keeps trying to get him on drugs. And then they go to their house a few months ago, a couple months ago, for drugs, quote unquote. Wilson empties his pockets, which the lawsuit says showed they contained only money. The citation said Hankinson recovered a plastic bag of suspected powder cocaine on the ground and arrested Wilson. But the lawsuit citing body camera footage said Hankinson located the bag on the sidewalk several feet away from where the altercation took place. He then jokes with other LMPD officers about planning dope on Mr. Wilson expressed shock over the locating of these drugs. Now, listen to that. This guy did all of that. From 2016 and 2018, and it's 2020, and he still maintained his job. And all they got, all three of these pigs got, was re was uh, administrative reassignment, whatever the hell that means. Does that mean that they got assigned desk duty, but at another precinct? It says, also, visible on the body camera is an unnamed civilian who can be heard communicating with Mr. Wilson that he saw an officer drop the drugs on the sidewalk before he retrieved them. On the way to jail, Wilson said Hankinson has a vendetta against him and is a dirty cop who needs to be exposed. Wilson spent the night in jail before posting bond. The suit says Wilson also incurred the cost of drug tests, which all yielded negative results in attempts to support his claim that he is not involved with narcotics. Wilson's criminal case remains pending in circuit court. In September 2018, Wilson filed a, a report to LMPD's internal affairs host. I mean, that Hankinson was unfairly targeting him. Now, let me go back to that part where it says his criminal case is still pending. This guy, th right here in this picture, set him up. And even though they can prove his innocence, he still has that pending court case attached to him for something he did. And they have it on camera that he was joking about it and that someone said that he picked up the drug he dropped and then he picked it up. That's all on the camera footage, but they still are doing Kenneth Walker dirty. It says in September 2018, Wilson filed a report to LMPD's internal affairs that Hankinson was unfairly targeting him. However, he discontinued his complaint because his legal case was pending and he did not have an attorney with him. The next month, Hankinson arrested Wilson a third time, this time at Sullivan's Tap House. Hankinson wrote on the arrest citation that he located a large bag of powder cocaine that weighed in excess of five grams. A civilian video taken of the incident show Hankinson taunting Wilson's girlfriend and telling her that he was planning dope again. See, he, he, the thing is, this guy right here, this Brett Hankinson guy, is so egotistical that he doesn't care that anyone around him hears that he's planting drugs on this guy because he knows nothing's going to happen to him. And in a way, he's right because nothing really has happened to him. He's not been held accountable for what he's done, even though he knows what he's doing is messed up. The charges were dropped two months later. Laboratory testing revealed the powder Hankinson claimed to have located came back negative for any controlled substances. In October 2019, Louisville police officers executed a warrant at Wilson's home and barbershop, kicking in the door of his home and pointing guns at his girlfriend. They seized a legally owned gun and Wilson's license and cell phone, according to the suit, which accused Hankinson, a narcotics detective, of playing a role in the issuance of these warrants, which were carried out by narcotics officers. Wilson's lawsuit accuses Hankinson of malicious prosecution and violating his constitutional rights and seeks reimbursement for legal fees and punitive damages. So, like I said, my hunch from the original video was correct. This guy has something personal against Breonna Taylor's boyfriend that dates back four years. And they said that it probably started because a woman was interested in both of them. And the fact of the matter is he probably couldn't stand that the woman he was interested in. And who knows? I don't know what the, the background of the woman was. Let's just say she was PC. Dared be interested in this black guy who 
he felt was beneath him because he was a cop and he wasn't, you know, a, a lot of cops have those egos that no one should, it's almost like they should be way up higher on the pedestal than what they are. But now we see where it stems from, or at least possibly where it stems from. And it's been going on for four years. They said that this guy arrested him three times for the same thing, drugs. But this time he was determined to get him. And he thought this would be the perfect opportunity to get him early in the morning while they were sleeping and kill him right there and there. But even then, while he unfortunately killed Breonna Taylor, he was not successful in getting the target that he wanted. Even then, that just shows you right here the wicked and twisted mind of an individual like this Brett Hankinson, which also lets me know he was probably the ringleader in this entire thing. Now, if anybody needs to, I mean, don't get me wrong, they all need to definitely pay for what they did, but this one, this one right here. This one right here is the main reason as to why Brianna Taylor is dead. I would not be surprised if most of the bullets came from his gun that went into her body. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments and I'll talk to you in the next one.